This time last year we shared with you that we're beginning to ask the question, what do the new wineskins for this new season look like? In Mark 2 Jesus talks about the need for new wineskins because of the new wine that was coming. And N.T. Wright explains that passage like this. He says, something quite different was coming to birth from anything that happened before. Something powerful and something explosive. And what Jesus was then doing couldn't be fitted into the existing ways of thinking and living. So there would need to be a rethink. We'd have to think differently, to think bigger, to use new wineskins for the new wine that he had to offer. Now we actually believe that reflects the season that the church is coming into in this new post-pandemic season. That we need to think different, that we need to think about new wineskins for the new wine that God's going to be pouring out. And so, as many of you know, and many of you have been involved with, we are continuing in our period of wait, fast and pray. And we will do that for as long as we feel God wants us to. And so a date for your diary would be next Wednesday, so that's April the 20th at half past seven for the next one of these evenings. Do try and make it along um, to Kings on, on that night because they really have mm. been powerful evenings. Yet in the midst of that still, we are beginning to start to think about making some changes in particular to the way that we gather on a Sunday morning. And so starting on the 1st of May and for the first Sunday in the month thereafter, these Sundays are gonna be known as come to the table. And they're gonna involve eating together, taking communion together as part of that time. We're gonna to read together and discuss scripture together as well as hearing some stories about what God is doing as part of our time of worshiping as a community. And so. Each one of these mornings may look slightly different, but for our first one, we're going to be having brunch together. So come hungry, make sure that you're hungry that morning before we look at communion and we use the community Bible experience questions, which many are now familiar with to help open up what we're thinking. And as part of our response to what we've learned during the Growing Young series, mm -hmm. we want to use these mornings to help to continue to fuel a warm community for our children and our young people. So we won't be having this, the normal children's ministry running, but instead we'll be looking to include them and everyone, all ages, in what we're doing. And on a really practical note, there's going to be no charge for the food, but we will be accepting donations <laughs> towards the cost. And we are asking people to book in in advance via the link below. Now this is purely just to help us to know how many people to cater for. But if you wake up on a Sunday morning and you haven't booked in and you really want to come, Please come, please come to the table and join us because there will be enough for everyone. And so our main purpose for doing this really is we want to help facilitate reconnection for people after such a disruptive two years. And eating together especially is something that we've really missed and we can't wait to get back to. But we also want to learn together in a more interactive way to hear what each other is feeling God is saying about what we're reading together. And so please, please do come to the table. There's a place for you whether you've been part of Kings for many years, perhaps you've been away for a while, or maybe you're just beginning to explore what relationship with God is all about. Come be with us at Kings, 11 o'clock on the 1st of May, as we continue to explore what God has for us next.